Hi, I'm Ronix and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you an easy way of creating an artistic impression, an artistic portrait in Photoshop using the gradient maps, the brush and inverted layers. So we are going to change this photo from this into this. Wow, you can see it is already looking awesome. So let's just go in and start up the creating of this impression. You're going to start by first of all converting this photo into black and white by coming here and selecting black and white so photo will be converted into black and white and we'll make some simple adjustments so I'll turn my reds down then turn my yellows up yeah I'll continue turning the reds down so this is it so after that I'll come back here and select the gradient maps so I'll click on the color then click on this sapia attic if you don't have them you could as well come here and select photographic toning and click on append so you'll get these panels again so here i'm going to come and click on sapia antic for this photo so remember i want to create a gold black and white effect for this photo so i'll come and click here then open my colors so i'll look for something close to gold so i'll come here something slightly close to gold yeah so I click on OK then yeah I click on OK so here we are so after this I'll make sure that this layer is selected then I press Ctrl I to invert that layer so I'll come on the blending, blending options and I give it hard light instead so after that I'll come and select my brush and make sure the foreground is I'll make sure the foreground is white since we are going to be painting on the black mask so if at all you want to toggle you can just click here to toggle between the layers so I'll make it make sure that the top one is really white so after doing that I'll come right here and look at my photo and I'll kind of draw where I want my mask to pass so I'll start outlining yeah I'll outline where I want it to pass then come here above the eye I want it past there too I want something like a diagonal line so since I'm using my touchpad on my laptop it may be hard to draw a straight line but you guys can follow me up so I'll draw another line here so here below the lips yeah I'll put our outline so you can zoom in as well to be accurate and perfect because we don't want people to notice like this was just created in Photoshop so I'll come outline here on the edge of the chin then come right here I outline that so here we are so I'll come and outline here behind her neck so since I'm done doing that I'll start painting by increasing my brush size then I'll start painting over using my brush
it should be a soft brush so I'll start painting over a photo yeah you have to be careful here not to pass your brush on the areas you really don't want but if at all that happens you just switch here to black then you rub you clear off so you try to clear off the areas you have made areas on so come we start painting i think you can see we are already creating an artistic feel of this photo so we come we paint yeah we paint yeah i hope you guys are loving this and if you are not loving it you wouldn't be still here so we are going on so far so good yeah be careful we wouldn't want to cross over our edges so we come here on the lip area that lip line the upper lip line yeah we pass it there then come here still come to the eye you can paint there too yeah we continue painting yeah you guys you can take your time if you really need to be accurate and clean enough remember we are creating an artistic impression for people out there something different for them to look at so i'll come still increase my brush and paint over if at all the surface you're going to paint over is too big just increase your brush and paint yeah so uh, paint over that reduce because i'm going to go to the edges and i wouldn't want to make errors i'll paint over that too yeah oh guys this is a simple reminder if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe and hit that bell notification yeah so we continue painting yeah here i'm using a, a small brush because i don't want to mess up the lip area so we continue painting So here we are on the chin area, I'll increase my brush to save time. So I'll paint over that. Then paint. Yeah, so far so good. You're having that golden black and white feel. So continue painting. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that that is part of nature so yeah continue painting so here we are on the golden black and white kind of feel so i hope you guys are loving this so here we are so far so good it's really nice where we have reached and now I'm going to add some color to the photo so I want her lips colored so meaning if I really want her lips colored I'll just come here and maybe I could select my brush to be my for my foreground to be black so I'll zoom in Remember, I'm on my black and white layer, so I'll zoom in 
and make yeah a boundary for the lips i just want it to match the top golden line so after that i'll come and paint on the lips yeah i paint on the lips increase it a little bit yeah paint yeah remember you're creating something artistic so we could go crazy and weird with this portrait so so many times so i'll come i start painting on the lips yeah remember now we are kind of revealing our original color of the photo so that's why i'm painting using a black brush on the black and white layer i'm kind of revealing our original colored portrait so i'm revealing some of those colors so here we are we have revealed the color of the lips so here we are so if you really want you can come and adjust some colors here maybe we want some to reveal some eyeshadow so we can come here and we reveal that too remember we are doing something artistic so you shouldn't worry about what people will think because at the end of it all it's about your art your your impression so we come we paint over the eyeshadow yeah we paint over it then come here too we're going to paint over that too on this side we could paint over that too I think you guys can see the difference we are making here on this portrait so make sure you really be accurate and clean enough with your brush strokes so here we are in the magical world of photoshop so so far so good so here we are so if you really want to continue adding effects in this photo you can continue doing that but i really love it this way it already looks awesome but if at all you really want to make it maybe golden and yeah you really want to make it have like a golden feel and maybe you want a colored bit of it the original color so we could as well continue apart from doing this and just come here increase the brush and paint over yeah if we really need to reveal our original color of the photo so here we are in the magical world of photoshop so just come here we paint we reveal our colors our original colors as you guys can see we are revealing the model's original color So we could zoom in and continue painting, we reveal this original color, yeah, guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please and please subscribe so, so that you can keep updated with new videos anytime and remember to hit that notifications bell so what you're doing you're painting using 
a black brush on our black and white layer so now here we are revealing we are revealing our original color so here we are if you're on the edges just be so careful be careful yeah so here we are sorry about that it's back again so maybe you should have to get used to it uh, so here we are so we have created this artistic impression I don't know I'm not perfect enough but I just wanted this tutorial to be as short as possible yeah and leave nothing unturned so that you guys don't ask me how did you do this how did you do this so yeah so here we are in a magical world of photoshop so we could as well come on the lips remember now we are eliminating the black and white of this photo we are kind of eliminating it so we come and paint over here yeah this could take so so much time but i decided to maybe use a quick way yeah so here we are yeah so if at all we really want to paint again using our golden color we select our gradient map player and get our white brush then we come and paint over here to be so accurate yeah come here below the lip remember we want something artistic we want someone to look at it and they get impression and we want we want people to look at it and really get impressed yeah it'd be like how did he do this how was this done we want so so many questions in their heads so this is where we are this is where we have reached with our portrait so i could group my layers by clicking on them and pressing ctrl g so this is our before and this is the after before after before and this is the after thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more educative and more interactive videos so if i told you want something to learn in my next video you can drop your comment below in the comment section and remember to leave a like button subscribe and turn on that notifications bell thank you for watching